Hi Sag, this is going to be your love and life message for the beginning of January 2023. It is good for Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, or Mercury placement of Sagittarius. As always, please keep in mind, Sag, this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading, so it might not resonate with everyone that watches. Things could be opposite and roles could be reversed. You know the drill, right? <laughs> if you want to book a private one-on-one -on -one reading with me that's personal and not general, but it's private and just for you, follow the link down below to my website and you can schedule with me there okay i have a lot of openings in january if you're new welcome to soma chandra libra but as we say here don't let the name fool you i read for libra and sagittarius exclusively on this channel every couple of days and right now it is soma chandra sagittarius so please sag hit the bell so you know when i read for you i read for you here a lot all right let's get into it my peeps I think a relationship that's been ongoing has been hitting a little bit of a rough patch at the moment. Um, out of the wisdom of the House of the Night Oracle deck, four cards came out of the first Oracle deck. So whatever number comes out, I just use that for most of the Oracle decks. And I do notice a four at the bottom of the Lightseer's Tarot, my main deck. So there is a foundation being built upon a get together. Um, you guys could be spending time in the same home or the same place. You may live together as well. But four cards came out of this deck. Understanding, listening, wishing, and playful is here. Differences is at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are dealing with an Aries, a Gemini, a Leo, perhaps a Libra, but someone may also have some water in their chart. I also noticed there are a lot of cats because I have strength here. There's a cat on playful and differences has cats as well. Some of you have cats or you're dealing with a person that has pets. Pets could be involved. Animals could be important in a relationship to you or your partner. I definitely think that someone's trying to find a way into someone else's part. Either you or your person have been, someone's been very understanding. They have tried to listen. They are wishing for playfulness, I believe. I think that you guys are discovering or dealing with your differences right now, black and white. You know, we don't share a brain, so, or a heart or a body. So the two of you have some differences at the moment, apples and oranges, but apples and oranges go good together, right? <laughs> There is honesty, there is a belonging here. Someone's having a hard time forgetting the past. Okay, so I do feel like someone's wishing that the other person would be more playful. They also wanted me to use the arrows of love. What came out is partnership, cactus heart, guarded, up in the air, and then love language, deep conversation. Arrows of love, Cupid's arrow strikes. I do think that one of the angels of love is coming in to try to support the relationship. Angels don't usually step in our business unless they really feel motivated to. I do think an angel of love is coming in to support. There is a partnership happening here, but someone has a very guarded heart and things are kind of up in the air right now. I do think that there's a love here. I kind of feel like you guys are trying to discover each other's love language. And I recommend looking at your descendant, your moon placement, and in particular that Mercury placement. Mars as well, if you feel like there's been a lot of tension in the relationship lately. Mars will show you what's most important to the both of you. And your Mercury placement can show you how you communicate with one another. <clears throat> you guys might be two ships passing in the night at the moment. I do see that someone here is very guarded. I think it might make the other person nervous, except one of you I think is very busy. So take this as it resonates. I'll interpret it a couple different ways. <clears throat> Pardon me. Of course, the minute I turn on the camera, I'm losing my voice because Mercury retrograde is a thing. <laughs> Overall energy of the person coming towards you was the sun. They could have Leo in their chart. The way they feel about you is the queen of wands. You're being seen as the six of swords. What you need to know is the four of cups and the final outcome is the six of cups. Four of wands is at the bottom of the deck. Someone may be moving. There's been a heavy load to carry. It, someone's trying to work it out. A lot of life review, King of Swords, masculine is showing up, kind of all serious and whatnot. A relationship with an air sign could be ending or beginning. And I see someone being very strong here and, and uh, 
with the hermit very reserved strong and reserved it's like tough times and here's the thing i feel like <clears throat> sagittarius either someone sees you in a very different way than you see yourself or you've got someone or, or you you're either because you could be the queen of wands <clears throat> where you're really going for it in life like a feminine could be really excited and happy and passionate and like living her best life and the masculine might feel a little reclusive right now it's also possible that someone sees you be it a man or a woman in a very different way than you see yourself i do think that one of you is trying to get the other one to come out of their shell so again take it as it resonates i'm going to read it as the energy coming towards you but it could be in reverse okay so someone is the sun they are just so happy filled with optimism the glass is half full for this person and clarifying this is judgment the ten of pentacles and the three of pentacles wow okay someone is really at a crossroads here they're well i think they're having an awakening with the sun and judgment they're hearing this really wonderful inner calling that makes them very optimistic and positive and happy or at least they have a lot of clarity you know at the very least about long-term stability and commitment three of pentacles i do think they want to cooperate here with you i think this this has been being built upon someone feels really happy about this this could also be a potential business partnership as well the way someone's feeling is the queen of wands well that could be your energy but it could be another feminine around you clarifying this is the three of cups the six of wands and the magician jesus christ who is this powerful manifester this woman's in beast mode is this you or is this a person coming towards you because i got it or someone just feels absolutely wonderful about you but i with the queen of wands king and queen of wands are like really me myself and i kind of cards yes there's a king and queen of cups living inside the queen and king of wands but they have it's not a self-absorbed energy it's they are very focused on the things that they are doing and with the queen of wands it's not what is she doing it's what is she not doing and it's literally what is this woman not doing friends she's a leader she has some kind of victory this woman has or someone has very healthy ego here and they are a magician they are the divine hustler the divine puppet master they make that shit up as they go along and they know exactly what they're doing i'm seeing a go-getter very much so yeah and just someone's feeling really great now someone could see you in this way and feel this way about you because but or you've got this dynamite person around you and your energy is the six of swords which kind of looks like you're sailing away from the island of nope and you're trying to get to the island of yep absolutely i am so on board with the sun and the three of cups and the ten of pentacles mm-hmm except i'm kind of not <laughs> now you might have rejected this person and they're like okay i'll just take my stuff and go and go or some of you are someone is in a place here where i mean look that this is rain and she's been out of, in the ocean a long time and she just came from the five of swords and that sucked and clarifying this is the eight of cups the moon and the hermit someone is definitely in some kind of a place of transition and emotionally avoidant kind of moody a lot of cyclical emotions a lack of clarity because we have the moon and the sun and the hermit virgo like really now this could be someone that like thought there could be something with you but now they're letting you go and they're doing other stuff but they i think that they want something serious with you and some of you are just i don't know for whatever reason i i wanted to clarify it and spirit said don't because if i clarify it more it'll get more specific and more personal and this is a general reading so like overall there's just like leaving something behind letting things go someone's searching their soul they're emotional it's deep it's heavy so some of you have someone around you that's like hey sag do you want to come out and ride bikes and you're like not really i'm wrapping up a dark night of the soul at the moment the next couple days i'm just gonna feel kind of heavy have fun but i can't with you right now yeah or maybe it's in reverse where it's like man 
You know what I'm also hearing? It's not coming out in the cards, but I'm hearing it all of a sudden. Like if you guys live together or you're in a relationship where you're together all the time, it's like when you're in a good mood, they're in a bad mood and they're remembering shit from the past, either with you or some other part of your life. And then the moon here is a cycle that will play out and then they'll come on the upswing and they'll be in a good mood. But then that happens right when you're down in the dumps about something. And I'm hearing that sometimes you guys kind of bicker, your schedules aren't lining up, you're someone's maybe overreacting, nitpicking. I'm, I'm hearing it. Like um, right now you guys are kind of like two ships passing in the night. You are trying to figure out each other's love language. That might be a little up in the air. And again, partnership, yes, but someone's got a cactus heart at the moment. At the moment. So one of you is like, a clown car opening up and the other one is like I need to go spend some time in the desert and talk to God yo I can't you also may feel like you're uninvited someone may feel like they're not part of something but they do want to make you a part of something or you them one of you might be having a better time of it right now than the other one so here's what you need to know or your advice the four of cups she always looks like Goldilocks. Come and taste the rainbow. No, no. I'm so over this porridge and just sitting here and, oh, God. She looks bored as shit. <laughs> or just like stuck. Like uh, emotional reevaluation station, over analysis paralysis, emotional analysis paralysis for sure. Maybe a little afraid to emotionally step outside of a comfort zone. But clarifying this is the page of wands, the chariot and the two of pentacles. There could be a cancer involved. I mean, I have Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag. I have Virgo. I have Pisces. Yeah. So somebody's like bored. Either you're bored or they're bored. Someone's itching to do something. Also, maybe like I'm also hearing the page of wands as a kid and like a schedule could have been flipped around for co-parenting at the last minute. And it's like, oh, I can't do that. Or if some of you have a dog or a cat, someone's saying, oh, I want to bring my pet. And I don't know if that's going to work out. And someone does, someone is very on the go and busy. That might be making you feel kind of bored or vice versa. I feel like someone wants to get out and have fun. The page of wands, when it comes out for a grown ass man or woman is someone that's like, I'm bored. Do you want to go out? Let's go out. I don't care where we go. Let's go walking. Let's go for a hike. I want to discover new things. I want to travel. What do you want to do for the next two years? I don't know. It's like I'm hearing someone's kind of busy. I definitely see someone in your environment that's hella busy right now, Sagittarius. But again, it could be in reverse. And I feel like someone just wants to have fun and the other person's just like not responding at the moment. Keep in mind, this is a four to five day prediction. So micro prediction. I do think that things might change. And I kind of feel like the final outcome is the reason for all of this. The six of cups, we have more animals showing up. Someone may miss an old pet or an old friend. There is a lot of thoughts about the past. Someone is very nostalgic. You look nostalgic right now. There is a nostalgia. And clarifying this is the Three of Swords of the World and the Ten of Wands. Oh, someone's hurting here. <sighs> look how the Ten of Wands is going right through the new portal, though. Like, it is getting better. And someone needs to know in this connection that they are safe and divinely guided. There has been an ascension here. And there's this tectonic breath between an old cycle and a new cycle. I feel like you guys stepped through the portal, but someone took two steps back into the past. Someone's got to let go of their stuff. Someone may be moving and really sad about that. Like if the two of you are getting moving in together, it's like, yeah, this is amazing. Right up until like my heart's broken, I'm moving away from my family or my childhood home or there's shit with the past that's bugging me. And but what I do like, Sag, is that 
maybe you're both feeling a little bit this way or one of you is the other one that's not feeling this way is very understanding they are listening they are wishing wishing and playful came out close together like boom boom rhythmically so i feel like someone's wishing for a playfulness but you guys are just sort of like you have your differences right now with honesty coming out and belonging about the home or the house um i do think there are going to be good honest conversations and no one wants to make the other person feel left out, but it's like, it's, oh God, here's the moon again. It's a drag, man. Message is someone wants to move fast. The other person can't. Someone would be worried about a queen of pentacles or there could be an earth sign of Virgo involved, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this person in your environment, if this is them, you know, you versus them, I'm reading it as them. This person is the five of cups. I didn't get a, a many, I didn't get any court cards actually. Oh, I got a queen of wands. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Leo or someone with Leo in their chart or they act like one anyways. I think you have a creative person around you or you're the creator. The five of cups, the two of cups, the two of pentacles and the 10 of wands. I wanted to know what this two of pentacles, 10 of wands is because this is I'm busy as shit. Like, I'm busy as shit. I don't know what to do. This is overwhelming. They are sad about something. Like, they, I think this person has some regrets. I think they feel bad. I don't have a five here. But if y'all had a fight or there's been tension, you need to know that this person feels bad about it. Or they're sad about something. They're regretful. They do want to talk to you. Two of Pentacles to the Ten of Wands. I clarified this and I'm like, oh, this person's busy. I think, I mean, there are cards here that indicate potentially a third party situation, but I don't think it's a third party situation. I'll be honest with you. I think that the third party might be friends, social engagement, engagement, stuff that they're creating, stuff that you're doing or they're doing, because I have the three of cups, the three of pentacles and the nine of cups. Some of you have a bit of a workaholic around you, maybe, or someone who just right now is really busy. They're getting together with you and other people. They're being recognized and rewarded for something, and they're also really happy. Drinks on the house with the Nine of Cups. And the, what they want to say to you is, I want to make amends. I wish I treated you better. I miss seeing you. Yeah. The, I didn't get the Eight of Pentacles, but I do have the Chariot and all this other stuff. And someone here is a manifester big time. I bet that this person's human design is manifester generator. I'm an MG. We do not hold still. And I have a brain on fire. So I kind of feel this chick could be you could be them. But there was some kind of tension or maybe an argument between the two of you. They, I don't think this person with, I wish I treated you better and I miss seeing you. I don't think this person's made time for you. They may also have Aries in their chart. Aries shadow trait is a selfishness and fire sign energy at its worst can be a little self-centered. So I think that this person is loving all that they're pouring into, but that they are, and they're sorry they want to talk. They haven't made room for you in their life. This is, I have like two things going on at once. I don't even have time for play because look, the ocean of emotion is behind that person. And there's usually dolphins and happiness and playfulness. I think this person kind of is burdened by stuff at the moment. Like they are carrying a lot on their shoulders, but they're also loving what they do. This person also, maybe you're the one that's offering fun and happiness. Someone, I also hear that someone drinks more than the other one does, or I'm also hearing with the differences card at the bottom of the wisdom deck, um, that some of you have like really very different tastes in food, art, music, stuff like that. And it's just like not jiving. This person hasn't made time for you. They are sorry. I think that they've been a little dismissive, perhaps. I'm hearing like that there's just been this huge communication misunderstanding. And one of you is just in a really different mood right now. 
<laughs> I got masculine energy over here. So I could be picking up on my masculine Sagittarians, but again, take it as it resonates. Like you could be the busy one. Like, dude, I'm sorry. I'm just a light bulb that never turns off. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings or disappoint you. Of course, I want you to come to my such and such. Like I'm hearing like an art gallery opening or like something. But your cards, Sag, are the Two of Swords, the King of Swords, Temperance, and the Star. Some of you are blocking out an air sign, in particular an Aquarius. Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Others of you are just in like this stern, protective, masculine energy. You're like, I'm not looking at this right now. I'm absolutely protecting my heart. I'm kind of giving the world the cold shoulder. I can't let anything affect my peace and calm. I do think you're trying to find your center, Sagittarius. I do think you're trying to find your calm. And I think even my ladies are in king energy right now where you're like, strategy, life strategy is very important for you. Being incredibly intellectual and erudite and fact-based and smart is really important to you. You may have someone giving you really good advice right now, too. You've just got to decide whether or not you want to take it. Some of you are in a place of healing and you are free. You are freeing yourself from something. The angel of the divine is with you. Also, you guys, when I get temperance in the star, that is often an indication of a deceased loved one that is around you right now. They visit you by night and they walk with you during the day. And, you know, and Sagittarius is a messenger. You are the angels that walk among us. I just think right now you can't be anyone else's angel but your own. And, and I wanted to know what this Two of Swords, King of Swords was about. I was like, whoa, they're uh, trying to get in touch with a dream here and heal and feel a defined sense of self. But they're looking a little closed off. Masculine might be closed off. Of that or you're denying a masculine. But I clarified him. Again, take it as it resonates. And I have the King of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Okay. I think the masculine's over here. I do. I think this man wants the cup of love. I really do. I think underneath this big old mean sword, he does have a heart. And he's really a softy. But he is just slow moving towards this Ace of Cups right now. He's looking at that cup. He's like, yeah, I've got a cup. And it's filled with all of my super heavy emotions. And God's like, well, why don't you, you know what? You have another hand. What, what are you holding? Why don't you put that down? And can you, can you hold two cups? Because we really want to fill your heart with love. But he's like, yeah, I'm just sort of slowly moving towards it. Either that or we got two masculines over here and you need to choose between one of them because I do have a two of pentacles here. And it's like, I feel like you Sagittarius are saying, what do I do? I can't get out of my head. I think some of you are the ones that struggle to let go of the past. I think you're the six of cups and the hermit and strength and all that. And here's why, because of the oracle cards. I bury myself in work to forget you. I hide my feelings, I, but I can be myself with you. I won't let you down. You didn't see my tears. Okay. You're, some of you are having a hard time expressing your emotions right now. Some of you have water in your chart and you also have Aquarius and Sag in your chart. And it's like really at odds with each other right now. So I think that this person is busy, but I think that you're busy too. Like you're burying yourself in work and you're struggling to show this person your feelings. But at the same time, you do know that in their presence, you are able to be your true self. Which, and I think that you don't want to let this person down. And I think that they don't want to let you down either. Honestly, Sag, I really think that you're just kind of two ships passing in the night right now. And you've both got to figure out your schedules and each other's love language. And again, like one of you is really up and the other one is really down. If you do not have a romantic partner, and this is a projection of you into the environment, in particular for my ladies, I really think that your life is going in a good direction and you just need to continue to let go of the past. We cannot go back, right? 
we will have regrets, but there are new things waiting for you if you just open up. Were you thinking about traveling or taking a trip? Don't hesitate. But someone, it might be trying to really find a way in here and they want to make room for you. Maybe they've just been a little selfish doing other things, but they do, they are having an awakening and hearing an inner calling about the relationship. I'm feeling the need to say, give it a chance. Give it a chance. Compromise is a thing. And the two of you may have very different personalities and that can be worked through. Astrologically speaking, I don't believe there's anything such thing as a bad match in astrology. You know, there's complementary energy, there's supplemental supplementary energy, and then there's energy that like there's nowhere to go and there's a lot of friction. I think that this friction can be worked through. I also think it's important to let each other be the real versions of yourself and maybe give each other some space right now. But keep talking. Keep talking because that will keep the relationship going. And playfulness would help too. Yeah, they're pulling back and they're telling me to stop. Thank you, spirit. All right, Sag, that's the next couple days. That's the first week in January. Hope it resonates. Hope it helps. Link to the website for private readings is down in the description below. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Sagittarius. Take care. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.